We start off horizontal jumps at the beginning of the year. This is the drill we start off with. It's, it's a stabilization drill to where what we're going to work on, and it's a progression of things, but we're going to work from stabilizing our landings all the way to uh, depth jumps in a sense. And what we're looking for is when they're coming off, I don't want them to land really bent kneed. I don't want them to land straight legged. I want them to land flat footed. Lee's at a slight bend, arms back ready to go, but I mean it is stabilized. When you hit the ground, you want to lock it in and it will work through all the way through your core, quads, glutes, hips, all the way through working that stabilization. Stabilization is incredibly important when coming off a triple jump, when setting up for a long jump, any kind of jumper coming in. Stabilization drills are huge. Even I think this is just a, a good drill for just about any track and field athlete in just about any event. But uh, we're going to kind of go through a progression that we do here. And, and the size of the box can vary. Like I said, a lot of times we'll start even with a shorter box than this at the beginning of the year and progress to this. And by the end of the year, we might even be at a higher box. But this is kind of a good medium kind of range box to show you the drills today. So we'll start off with the just holds. OK, try, to, try not to rock out of it. Just try to hold it. Good. Good. Let's. Uh, Let's do that one again. Good. As you can see, not too much depth in the knees, landing flat footed and just sticking it, holding that. Boom. Good. Okay, the next step from there, we're gonna do that same hold, that same stable, and then we're gonna we're gonna hold it for just a count, and then we're gonna jump up onto the next box here. So just hold right up onto the next box. Very good. Good. Very nice. Perfect. That's what you look for. You don't want a lot of movement. You don't want to hold and then reset up. You want to go from that, try to hold that position and jump, explode straight from that position. And when we're jumping, the other thing we're looking for is the same thing we've talked about in just about everything. We're looking for that triple extension. So I don't want to see this short. When we come off the ground to jump up onto the next box, I want full triple extension. From, through the hip, through the knee, through the ankle, driving all the way up through the head. It should be a nice straight line as we're going. There should be no bent or scooting. So let's see. Uh, yep, same one again. So just stabilize, jump. Good. Very nice. Stabilize, jump. Good. All the way through. Very nice. Now the next progression from there is we take the hold out. I still want that stability when you hit and I still want that triple extension takeoff, but it is instant. I do not want you on the ground very long and a plus I'm still looking for that flat footed. So we're keeping everything the same, but now we're keeping it in one motion. We're going to step off, bounce right up onto the next box and really work on the same things we've broken up into three parts, but all is one unit now. So Very nice. Good, we can get a little better extension. You, you shorten that one a little bit. Very nice. Like I said, I don't care about how quick you get on that box, I care how quick you get off the ground and how high you can jump. I'm looking for that full extension. Good. Good. Perfect. Now the next step, what we progress to, and this is kind of all in the same work, is now we're gonna do the same thing, but off of one leg. So we're going to start off with the holds just like we did before. I want you to land and stabilize. Boom. See, you got a little soft once you hit the ground and kind of collapse. We want to stick that landing. Landed a little bit toe first that time. That's the other thing we're looking for is to land flat footed. Hold. Still, is, and this makes it more difficult as we go to single leg. So there we go. Good. Better. We'd go through and do each leg, and then the next thing we'd progress from is the hold up to the triple extension, land on the box, just like the same thing we were doing off the two-footed, but good. Now, one of the things I'd like to show is for a long jumper um, or a single, single arm triple jumper, um, uh, Cheyenne's worked really hard here to kind of make it a single arm action. So you can see she lands with single arm and then does a single arm drive as she hops up. 
The other two are doing more of a double arm action. So they're holding the back and jump. High jumper. Double arm, triple jumper. So you can kind of figure out how to utilize those arms within that jump. Now the next step, kind of like what we did before, is we were looking for just a quick action off the ground, still looking for triple extension, flat foot, and quick off the ground. Now see, on that one there, you got a little bit too, too chest forward and everything rolled. I want tall so we drive straight up through the top, straight up through our head there. Not bad. Very good. Beautiful. Good. Much better. You're still landing on the ball of your foot. You can just hear it. You want to land flat-footed.